في العالم النهارده 28 مسله فرعونيه اصليه جزء منها موجود في مصر والباقي موجود في اكبر عواصم العالم واشهر ميادنها وبلاد كتير اقتبست التصميم وبنت مسلات حديثه وبرضه حطتها في اكبر ميادنها ايه قصه المسله وتاريخها دي فكره الفيلم اللي اخذنا في رحله غيرت مفاهيم كتير عندنا وساعدتنا نغير مفاهيم مغلوطه عننا بداية الرحلة كانت في أسوان Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the site of the unfinished obelisk. This is a very important place that told the Egyptians, the Egyptologists, and the archaeologists everywhere all over the world how did the ancient Egyptians manage to cut an obelisk. It was such a complicated and challenging job, but the ancient Egyptians, they mastered that. And then in 1922, we found the granite quarry here in Aswan. And we know that the only place that has granite in Egypt, all over the country, is only in Aswan. Noura Murshida is a Egyptian and a specialist in the art of Egyptian. I live here in the city of Jama Arfai and Sultan Hassan. This is my house. وانا عايشه معظم الوقت هنا. جدي هو الشيخ محمود خضر احد فقهاء الازهر. كان بسيط جدا ودايما بيدليفر بيوصل رساله التسامح. دي مقعد اللي فوق الريشه فوق دماغها دي مقعد هي الهه العداله في مصر القديمه. الريشه اهي باي ذا واي. هنا انا وماما ونهى اختي خالو وده هنا برضو انا ونهى. وده برضو هنا أنا ونهى كان عندي أخت أيوة <تصفيق> وستيل أي بليف إن هي لسه موجودة بشكل ما كنا زي توأم تقريبا لما بدأت أشتغل وأنزل أز أ تو جايد هي كانت تقعد تقول لي احكي لي بقى القصص بتاعتك وبتاع ومش عارفة إيه فكانت سبورتيف جدا في كل حاجة ثلاث سنين وشوية يعني أي 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 لوست هير راحت تماما من الدنيا <تصفيق> و... ودي كانت تقريبا يعني اصعب حاجه انا عديت بيها في حياتي ان احنا على طول مع بعض في الحياه نهى ونوره على طول مع بعض في الحياه حماس نوره للتاريخ المصري واهتمامها بالمسلات المصريه بالتحديد خلاها متحمسه جدا لفكره الفيلم I've been explaining and talking about the obelisk for years and years and I've been coming here for years and years There was an obelisk over there, a twin obelisk for this one, exactly the same, identical, and it's now in France, in Concord Square. Finally, I'll have the chance in a few days to go and visit it. ماشية تتعرف على الناس وعندها القدرة انها تتكلم مع اي حد لسه مقابلاه وكانهم صحاب من زمان. باريس جنة الايجيبتولوجي الفرنساويين عاشقين لمصر والتاريخ بتاع مصر. السفر حاجة خطيرة يعني. Getting to know people تعرف ناس تعرف بني ادمين بتجرب حياة مختلفة جديدة. Actually this is This is very exciting for me. Finally, I've been I've been talking about this piece. I've been talking about this obelisk for so many years, almost like 16 years. And every time I go to Luxor Temple, where the twin obelisk stands, I'm like, where is the other one? And finally, <laughs> I'm here now looking at it. They built it so high like that in order to let the sun rays the, to catch yeah. the first rays of the morning and the yeah. last ray during the sunset, so it could honor the yeah. sun god Ra. And also the obelisk, as it represents the sun, so it represents life. Yeah. Egyptians, they believed in life so much, yeah. and they believed in the afterlife. 
and they believe that death is just a fade. Actually, when I was a kid, I wanted to be just like you, an Egyptologist. I think it's a blast to be passionate about Egyptology and history and history in general, not only yeah. Egyptology. Yeah. I mean, like, France as well has a huge history. Linked, yeah. actually. Everything. 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 everything <laughs> from, since the dawn of history till our time, everything is linked to the other. كمواطن مصر الحقيقة عمري ما استوقفني تمثال راس حطحور بس لما شفناه منحوت على عمارة قديمة في باريس في شارع اسمه ممر القاهرة فرحت Yeah. Underneath the museum, then there is a bomb. So they're going to make a new museum or something like this. It's, I don't know if they made it. It's happening, it. right? It's, it's happening. Yeah. It should be open in um, next October. Well, actually, when it comes to the hieroglyphs, it's exactly when, when someone tells me, like, can you read all hieroglyphic? I'm like, no, it's exactly like asking me how many words in English they have, like, four letters. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense because yeah. there is a lot, a lot that yeah. we still do not know anything about. Um, all goes actually, the credit goes to. Um, um, Champignon, of course. Champignon, yes, exactly. Yeah. French man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You see, if you like the obelisks and Champollion history, you should actually Absolutely. see the tomb. It's at the Palace mm -hmm. Cemetery. Yes. It's a very famous cemetery. There's a lot of famous people there, and there's Champollion. Is it nice? Yeah, of course. Who else is famous there? Oh. Jim Morrison? Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Okay. That's, uh, that's, yeah. George, George Millis. <laughs> Yeah. Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. مصريات فرنسي وبيرجع له الفضل الأكبر في فك رموز اللغة الهيروغليفية ولما زرنا مقبرته لقينا مفاجأة مسلة غير متوقعة. لو باريس جنة الإيجيبتولوجي فروما كانت جنة نورة فيها ثمان مسلات فرعونية أصلية وناس من كل الجنسيات أهلاً 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 وسهلاً أهلاً Today is my birthday of my wife uh, Her name Regina She's Bellerin we, we know about Arabic and uh, culture and history and we like it and we, we think you are so strong people so strong nation what was the main, the biggest struggle when you travel somewhere or...? The color of my skin. Sometimes I've seen it that... Still you see yeah, this as a yeah, problem? Yeah. In the front It's a big part? problem because uh -huh. they're all men. They're all humans. Yes. It should not be a problem. It should not be an issue should at not, all. Absolutely, not, no, yes, no. yes. Humans are humans at the end of the exactly. day, right? Yeah. The problem is that it's affected by the light. ليه لحد النهارده ممكن حد يتعرض للتفريع او للتنمر بسبب لونه او شكله او لاي سبب نوره نفسها تعرضت للتنمر واختها الله يرحمها برضه كانت ضحيه للتنمر التنمر ممكن يبقى قاتل في ناس بتستسلم له وتكره الناس وتتجنبه وفي ناس زي نوره بتقرر مواجهته بحب الناس وحب الحياه مسلة سنترال بارك في نيويورك مشهورة باسم كليوباترا زنيدي وهي توأم مسلة تانية موجودة في لندن بنفس الاسم الحقيقة أن كليوباترا الملكة المصرية الشهيرة ما بنتش الاثنين لكن نقلتهم من مكانهم لمعبدها في الإسكندرية لتكريم قيصر روما يوليوس قيصر وبعدين اتنقلوا برا مصر I can tell you all about this obelisk dates back to the time of a very famous pharaoh his name is Tutmosis the third, Tutmosis the third, one of the greatest warriors in the history of ancient Egypt. First of all, let's agree in order to cut an obelisk, you have to cut it out of the granite, which is a very hard stone. We found the seal 
in one of the very famous temples known by the Temple of Hatshepsut in Luxor, West Bank, showing the scene of transporting and moving the obelisk from the site. So Egyptians, uh, back in the day, ancient Egypt, the main reason behind this huge, very old civilization was the belief and the dedication. These are one of the main codes and the ethics of the life of the ancient Egyptians. Okay, this is what you gotta do. You gotta plan your trip to Egypt now <laughs> so we can know more. Hello, hi, how are you? So we can know more about Egypt and about the life of the ancient Egyptians. So then the Americans have since stolen it and have put it in front of this palace. They did not steal it, no, actually. It's, uh, it was given as a gift by Khedevi um, Ismail from Egypt as a gift to the United States at that time. Yeah. Like, if you want to say something to everyone all over the world, what would it be? I would say respect people's cultures because they're people and um, they might sound different, but they're just the same, like you. Yeah, I think I did. It's very powerful. <laughs> so, how old are you? Eleven. Oh my God, you're 11 and you got the message already. <laughs> So I've been to, most recently, Italy, Spain, China, Bahamas, um, Canada. <laughs> That's really That's easy. super well, cold. Super cold there, but a lot, it's really easy for Americans to go to yes, Canada. Yes. Um, I've been to Oman. It's like no matter where you go, no matter what language you're speaking, what you're eating, yes. it's like at the end of the day, people are the same, right? Like people deep down all want the same thing. They all love their land. They all, you know, want social interactions. They all want to eat their great food. It's just, we have differences, but at the end of the day, like, we're just, we're all just trying to enjoy life. <laughs> People are like, you're going to go to that part of the world? And I'm like, yes, because that part of the world has so much history and it's so beautiful. And I can, you know, have so much hate for random things, but I don't because that's just going to stop you from experiencing so many beautiful places like Egypt, yeah? People say things about Egypt, about even America. People are like, it's so dangerous, you can't go there. Like, I think the, 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 the no, I don't want to point out fingers, it's just the media everywhere, all over the way. We don't need to listen to anything. We have to go and find ourselves what's going on there. It's just, it's, it's very important, I guess. ما كانش ينفع نبقى في منهاتن نيويورك وما نروحش جراوند زيرو. مكان البرجين اللي سقطوا في 11 سبتمبر ونؤدي الاحترام الواجب لذكرى ضحايا الهجمه الارهابيه وكل ضحايا الارهاب في العالم. You know that I'm doing tours in Egypt and I work as a tour guide and I get lots and lots of people to visit the country and it was a tour for almost 15 days. It was this lady, she's very quiet all the time. She said, you know why am I here? I lost my husband in 9-11. You know what, Nora? I'm so glad that I've done that and I didn't listen to people's opinion. And she gave me a message of hope, understanding, humanity, and she healed her heart. That's what she said at the end of the day. She said, my heart is now, I feel much better. So I lived in New York. My family lived very close to here. And I was an adult when this happened. And it's the first time anything like this happened in the United States. And I think that the, after that moment, it was a moment of change. And people didn't know how to respond and people did not know how to react and people were hurt and people were afraid. And they let that fear drive their lives for a very long time because life in the United States changed drastically after 9-11. And it's been that way for a while. But as this next generation has started to come up and these, with children, people, children do, are not born to hate. Children are born with love. And I think these younger generations are helping to soothe the hurt and showing that, yes, terrible things happened yeah. to maybe their parents or their grandparents or a friend. Terrible things happen everywhere in the world. They just really didn't happen here. And people all over the world have troubles and they, and they have to learn how to get by. But the one thing that happens is when you travel the world and you see all these people and you hear about all these things, you see smiles on their faces and you see happiness in their eyes and you realize, you know what, they are just like me. And they suffer and they have good times and they have bad times, but the one thing they all have is the ability to heal. Well, if we turn hate with hate, 
What will happen? What would happen, sorry? I think that we would destroy the world. We would destroy, because we would destroy, we'd take every way, everyone's hopes and dreams. There is no differences between you and me. You have other mentality. People are more similar than we think. Yeah. Every people I like. Black, white, uh, uh, brown. People have similar traditions. They just execute it differently. And it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's just different. They might sound different, but they're just the same like you. We are all uh, the same people all over the world. We have our families that we love. We have the things that we do. We have our entertainment. We have our music. The same dreams or the same the same feeling. So at the end of the day, we all are just trying to live. One or other way, we connect. The trip started with the goal of creating the Masala Nasri. And the Masala has taught us to people. People who have a passion and a passion to know more about the Pharaoh's history and history. And they have a part of their history. Some of them have ملك للناس كلها لأن كل الحضارات عدت على أرض مصر والناس اللي قابلناها متفقين على قيم واحدة قيم الحب والسلام واحترام وتقبل الآخر هي نفس القيم اللي قامت عليها الحضارة الفرعونية واللي النهاردة نعرفها باسم القيم الإنسانية